This is the steering engine, steam powered, as was the practice in North America. When the captain turns the ship's wheel, all he is actually doing is rotating a shaft which drives this valve and moves the valve one way or the other and which way it moves decides which way the engine is going to turn and the engine turns, it drives through a worm shaft and a worm wheel and there's a, a, a sprocket on the outside of the engine room which winds a chain either to port or to starboard. That chain goes right round and ends up on the rudder quadrant. The rudder quadrant turns the rudder of course and it's simply a question of which way you hold the chain as to which way the ship turns. This is a shot of the chain coming from the steering engine, then progresses down the side of the uh, ship and back aboard, down aft here, onto the rudder quadrant. And when you turn the steering engine, the chain turns the rudder quadrant and steers the ship. It's a simple old fashioned method which apparently was used right until the end of the Second World War when we went into more modern stuff like hydraulic steering and that kind of thing.